I'm Steve Rendell from Haynes Publishing. Uh, I'm looking after the Robot Wars Build Your Own Robot Manual and we're here on the set of Robot Wars in Scotland. Uh, we've asked a few of the competitors to give us an insight into what goes on behind the scenes and their experiences of building their own robots. Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Sam and we're members of Team Carbide. So, when we started designing the robot, we wanted to make something as destructive as possible and um, something that would really entertain as well as be competitive. Um, we didn't want to have to armour against other people as much as they'd want to armour against us, for at least. Mm. So, I think being the, the most aggressive spinner in the competition was always kind of our aim, wasn't it? Yeah. And we took inspiration from both of our featherweight robots uh, and basically combined a bit of the best of both of those to make Carbide what it is today. I think probably making it reliable. Um, you see so many spinners in the in the arenas, and they can take they can take then give one big hit, but then they stop. And I think um, that's that's the difference that makes um, a successful winning robot spinning robot is one that can just keep giving hit after hit, and uh, and that's that's the biggest challenge for sure. Yeah, it's also uh, good to know where the trade-offs are between power, reliability speed and armour, like you have to get the balance of the machine right. Like, mm. You can have the biggest weapon in the competition, but if you can't defend yourself at the same time, then it's completely useless. Yeah. And you need a drive system that can actually move that thing around. If you have a massive weapon with, and it's got no control, you can't turn, and people are just going to beat you easily. I think uh, the featherweight class is a fantastic class to start learning on. Um, it's much more accessible and you don't need nearly as much equipment. You can learn all the principles that you can then scale on to bigger, bigger machines in the future. Yeah, you can use like hand tools and you can do it in your garden shed really. Um, so start off small, don't aim too big and uh, out of your like kind of price window. Um, also try and think outside the box. If you've got an idea that you think is really cool that no one else has done, do it. I think the um, producing really explosive battles um, that everyone enjoys. I think that's that's got to be it. Um, just we've had a lot a lot of viewers sort of congratulate us on the performance of Carbide, and it, yeah. it's quite. I think the, the fights that we win aren't always the best fights, are they? Mm. I think you can have an absolutely brilliant fight, but you lose. You actually learn more from it. Obviously, winning's great, uh, but for us, we always want to keep developing the machine and making it as good as we can. Um, and the more we learn going throughout the competition, the more fun it is. So. Uh, we were quite pushed for timescales when we came to yeah. build it, and we decided that within the time and everything we had, that, that was probably the machine that was going to give us everything we were looking for, the power, explosive battles, and we thought we could finish it in time, which turned out to be true.